use all sorts of materials. We use steel and metal for the frame, nice and strong. We use rubber for soft, squidgy bits like the tars. Okay, so why not make the whole bicycle out of rubber? Rubber? Rubber's very flexy. We would be all over the place trying to ride a rubber bike. It would, you would fall off very quickly. It would be, you'd never be able to steer it. That's why we use steel for the frame, because it's really stiff and strong, and you, can, you, you can't move the frame about at all. And that gives the bike great stability, and on every bike you have the same sort of thing, a steel or, or a metal frame at least. Rubber's really good for tyres. These are the tyres we use on our bikes. When you go over a bump, of course, the rubber gives a little bit each time, so it makes the ride comfortable. When you go around corners, it doesn't slip, it's nice and sticky rubber. So it's ideal for that job. And it's very tough material too, it's surprising how tough it is. We use plastics where we need lightweight for the lights and the saddle and things like that. Plastic comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes, but the great thing is you can make it to any complex shape you want. This is very light, the frame is made of plastic, and then a special plastic with air inside it makes it nice and squadgy where your bottom goes. There are many other bits on the bike. These are harder bits of plastic on the whole. Take, for example, the pedal. This is as light as possible and a very complicated shape that would be very difficult to make in metal. It's really important to test materials to make sure that the specific material will do what you need it to do. For example, the toughness of glass. Shaped concrete blocks for motorway crash barriers. The suitability of a metal container for dangerous substances. And the durability of wheels on buggies. And lots more. all sorts of things. Toys, pushchairs, cots, trams, uh, sports equipment, electrical products, furniture, lots of things. We look at their strength, we mash them and bash them, we drop them, we impact them into things, and we look for sharp points and edges, and we look to see whether they wear out, whether they catch fire, and we look to see whether they're toxic or poisonous. It's important to test materials to see whether they're safe. We're going to be testing skateboards. We're going to be testing the aluminium and steel in the axles for strength. The first test is the strength test, and we do that by dropping a heavy weight on the axles to make sure they will withstand the impact. One. The weight is 20 kilograms. Two. And we drop it from a height of 200 millimeters. Three. We drop it three times above each axle. So we always use the same weight, and it's always dropped from the same height so that the tests are fair for all the skateboards that come in for testing. OK, so let's see if it's passed the test. And the axle looks bent, and yes, it has cracked, so it hasn't passed the test. The metal is not strong enough. We do another test by putting the skateboard on to a revolving drum with ramps attached to it to make sure that the skateboard will not wear out too soon. This tests the materials used in the bearings and the wheels of the skateboard. But it's not just for safety the materials need to be tested. Here, the fabric of a swimming costume is being tested to see if it will help the swimmer go faster. Fabric might also be tested to see how strong it is. Or if the fabric will snag. Or to see how hard wearing the fabric will be. Here, Gore-Tex is being compared with tweed. Which is stronger? The fabrics are pulled apart with a greater and greater force until they snap. The tweed snaps at 265 newtons, but the Gore-Tex snaps at 788 newtons, so the Gore-Tex fabric is much stronger.
what about weight? 100 square centimeters of Gore-Tex weighs 2.3 grams, but the same size piece of tweed weighs 4.2 grams, a lot more. But when it's wet, the Gore-Tex weighs only slightly more when it's wet. But the tweed, which is made of wool, weighs a lot more. But you might need the fabric to be waterproof. This machine measures how waterproof each fabric is by adding more and more water underneath so the pressure increases. The tweed lets water through straight away. But the Gore-Tex takes much more pressure, right up until it bursts. It's completely waterproof. Sometimes your life can depend on using the right materials. Hello, paragliding is the new sport. We use a very advanced material, light but very strong. The canopy of the parachute is made of nylon because it's very strong and extremely lightweight. The lines are made from special carbon fiber, which is also very strong and lightweight. We fly like a bird. It's a wonderful, wonderful sport. 